I love complementary color combos, and today we're going to do pink and green. Complementary means opposite of the color wheel. Technically it would be red, but as we know, pink is just a lighter version of red. We're going to start with the top and move on down. You ready to see how great these complementary colors look together? You'll notice I've got my foundation and my brows done, but one step you may not notice, but it's gonna make the biggest difference in the end is primers. I have put primer on my eyelids and primers on my lips. Um, this is gonna, it's gonna make all the difference in how smooth your makeup goes on and how long it lasts. I don't know about you, I don't wanna take all that time to put on a great look and just have it creasing in my eyelids and rubbing off my lips in the end. That's just not worth it and it's a waste of time. So take the, five to 10 seconds on each of these places and apply your primers. So primer is key. We're gonna jump right into eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a white wash. So this is a matte white. I'm gonna use this smaller fluffy brush. As Anna Kay calls it, it's our blender brush. I'm gonna cover the entire eyelid. So this just, this is gonna set the primer for one. And it's also gonna create a clean palette. And I found that if you start with the white, all of your colors that you put on after that, they maintain their intensity and clarity so much better. So you don't really notice like, oh, there's white on her eyes, but it just cleans everything up, neutralizes all the colors so that you can have a fantastic, intense pigments of whatever you choose to put on after. Now I'm gonna go on with this large brush and I'm gonna pick up this shimmery pink color here. This is a beautiful, almost neutral because it's slightly peachy, but it has a nice frosty effect. And I'm gonna take this on the brow bone just above the crease of the eye. Now remember, the placement of your crease colors is gonna depend somewhat on your eye shape. So you can refer to the eye shape videos for reference there. I have a medium hooded eye, so I like to put it above the crease. Otherwise, you just can't see anything when I open my eyes. So we're gonna wash that over there. And I'm going, you know, about three quarters of the way in, starting here just where the lash comes up here. Brushing that over. That's gonna create a beautiful, warm, natural look there. And then if you put it on both sides of the brush, you can come back across and back. Make sure it's even. You can see that just kind of brings a little more natural color to the brow bone area. Now I'm gonna come in with my angled brush and this is where we're gonna pick up this beautiful teal green color. So we're gonna put a little bit, and remember pigments in the type 4 world are intense. So a little bit goes a long way. So when I pick up a, a deep, bold color like this, I like to tap it on my hand, just one tap, to take off that first initial splash of color so that it doesn't land right there. And then tapping motions allows you to control where the color goes. So this is gonna go just above. You can see where the eyebrow and the corner of the eye meet. This is where we're gonna start the dark color. And I'm gonna brush the, tap the brush here, putting that color right there on the corner. So this is about the outer third of the eye. And then you can see how much color you have. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. Tap, tap, bring it in here. So we're gonna tap this, creating a C shape or a V shape. Some people call it a seven, but basically, you know, just along the brow bone, along the lash line. So we're gonna go a little more subtle. This isn't an intense eye, but it does look really beautiful because we are gonna go a bit bold on our lips. So I'm keeping the eye somewhat subtle but we have those beautiful complementary pink opposite green thing happening here. And I just love the way it looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up our dual liner brush. I'm gonna use this little smudgy end to pick up some of this green. And we're gonna do some detail work now. So I don't tap this off because I know where I want the intensity and I'm fine with it being intense where I put it down. So I'm gonna do the lower lash line here about halfway in and that just opens your eye. My eyes are green, so I just love the way this pulls that and makes them pop. A little more green here. And if you want this even more intense, you can wet your brush before you pick up the green and that will create an even more intense green line. I'm gonna pick up some more. Now I'm just gonna deepen the green along the lash line here as well. Get that in there. There we go. Got the green on. Now we're gonna go in and blend. 
This is like the magic little wand of any eye look. It seems like even if you've got funky places or colors that aren't blending well, this just fixes it all. And don't do a sweeping motion, do a tapping. Because if you sweep, you're gonna blend your colors. This just allows the transition between lines to blend beautifully. Just gonna tap, tap, tap. Great, now we're gonna pick up our frosty, frosty green here. I'm gonna use this small blender brush again that we used for the white. I'm gonna pick up some of this beautiful frosty green. I'm gonna put it in this inner, inner third of my eye. This is gonna open that inner eye and add some beautiful shimmer. And you don't have to be afraid of shimmery eyeshadows when you use that primer, because it's not gonna settle in the creases like it will if you may have experienced in the past having not used a primer. The primer just like fixes everything and it's beautiful and so easy to use. So there's my green, kind of a shimmery mermaid look. Uh, now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. So I'm gonna be using a black retractable eyeliner and you can do this two ways. You can use it directly out of the tube and line it in here. But my preference for pencil liners is to use the liner brush. I just feel like my control is so much greater and I can really determine where that line goes so I pick up a little bit of here on here. This is mainly what I use these liner brushes for actually is eyeliner. So I'm gonna lightly just make this area taut, but not I'm not pulling it out, just keeping it so that as I stroke the brush into the lash line, it doesn't move and create ripples in the color. Just brushing that in there. This is gonna thicken that lash line. And then if you want, you know, if you wanted a deeper, darker line, to really accent that, you could totally use you know, the felt tip liner or use this directly out of the, the pencil here, but this is what we're doing today. So I'm gonna do the same thing here because we did use that liner of green, so we do have some color there on the lash line already. Especially if you're new to um, eyeshadow, this is such a good way to get comfortable with the shape of your eye and where you like to put it. If you like to do wings, you know, this is really easy to brush out. If you want to brush out a little bit of color right there, super, super easy to do with the brush. There we go. Lovely, so easy. I'm gonna forego on the lash line on the bottom because I did put the green there. Now we're gonna move on to mascara. You can use, if you want a thicker lash, you can use a eyelash primer. Today I'm just gonna go ahead and just use the mascara alone. This is an HD mascara, so it has a lot of other products in with the mascara itself, so I find I don't necessarily need the primer with this one as much as maybe the plain mascaras. And I did curl my eyelashes already, so I got them nice and swept up. And I like to do it from the bottom up like this. Oops, and I blinked. We'll clean that up when we're done though. That'll be easy. So just comb it in there. And this has a rubber bristled brush, so it separates really nicely because the bristles on the brush itself don't get stuck together, they stay separated. So the separation is much greater on the lashes as well. I will usually pull out the brush, the lash brush though, just I just love the definition that it creates. And then remember to get your outside lashes here because that really creates that fanning wide open look. And I'm, I'm a fan of mascara, so why do we always do that? You know that mascara face? Anyway, oops, I'm just making a mess of my eye here. We're gonna let that dry before I do any touch-ups. All right, let's get this one done. And some people don't like to do mascara on the bottom. Um, I do, I like the way it opens my eye, so that's up to you. That's definitely a personal preference, um, whether you like that or not. Let's get that out there. I must have a shaky hand today. I'm getting mascara all over myself. And then we all have those shaky moments. <laughs> all right, get that in there. Ooh, perfect, I love that. So you can see the green, it looks really intense in the palette and it can be as subtle as this, or like I said, intensify it with a wet brush. And you can even do that with the shadow if you wanna put it on there. You can dampen your brush and that will really just make that color super vibrant. So continuing on with our complementary color, we're gonna do pink on our cheeks. Remember? Okay, so see how much I just got on here just by dabbing it once? 
This is the intensity you're working with. So don't just put that right on your face. You will be very afraid. So tap it to the side. Or sometimes I'll just, um, if I'm in my bathroom doing my makeup, I'll lightly tap it on the hand towel that's hanging there. But just dab it, dab it, dab it once you knock that first little bit off. And then I find that usually there's enough for both sides. I'll put a little bit here, then I'll come over to this side, blend that in, then come back over here. And I've, you know, that just seems to be the right amount of blush for both sides, just one little tap, because we are working with such intense pigments. I guess that's a philosophy of life, you know? Measure the amount you put out, because we're a little bit intense too. And then I'll dab a little on my forehead, sides of my nose, jawline, and you're not really getting much out. It's just gonna give a little bit of a blush because you know we don't use bronzers, your typical bronzers, because they generally tend to be copper. Um, so I'll just use a teeny bit of blush when I'm done to just warm up those areas that feel like they need a little bit of, a little bit of life. So we got eyes done, cheeks done, onto lips. So I did put primer on, and this is really important when you're working with these intense colors, because it's gonna help you put your lip liner on much smoother than if you didn't have it, because it creates kind of like a, um, a barrier or a finish to let you glide that lip liner across. So this is, we're gonna do the X marks the spot, that's just the way I, my brain works, so it's up to you. And I am gonna stop talking, because I'll never be able to put this on if my mouth is moving. to blend my lines and see where they end up. I try to get right to the end of my bottom lip so to get the fullest, the fullness of the fullest effect I can get. So we're gonna be using a liquid lipstick. So this is like, it's in the bottle of a lip gloss, but I will warn you, don't use it like a lip gloss because that's a little too much color. So you can't just be like absentmindedly just put this on because there's a lot of color here. So do put this on gently. I'll go ahead and wipe some of the product off the brush, the little doe foot here, and then just tap it in. See how much color that is? The tiniest bit of product is gonna give you such a payoff. All right, so you can perfect your lines. You know, we could do that all day long if we wanted. So sometimes you just have to say, it's good enough. So we're gonna stop there and feel, I'm feeling really good about this. Um, this is how easy it is. Like I talked a lot through this and so, you know, we were discussing the colors and placement, but really like, Wearing makeup is such an easy thing. I was talking to my husband yesterday and I said, oh, I feel like I'm so busy. I'm just hardly getting anything done. He's like, and yet you look amazing every day. I was like, oh, honey, thank you so much. And I thought, you know what? It's because I put that as a priority. Take the time to put yourself as a priority. It doesn't take that long. Do your hair, pick a hairstyle that's easier for you to do and just put together. I'll just put together a simple kit with just this much makeup and I'll rotate out my eyeshadows every once in a while, but this allows you to just get really familiar with something and look and feel great every day so that you can get compliments on your complimentary makeup look.